hi guys welcome to my channel so today we are going to look at the beige trend and we're heading to my closet for pieces of camels and nudes <music> So this first dress is no stranger to you guys. It is over 30 years old guys and it doesn't look a day older than 5 years old. I just love it and that's a testament to the material it's made from. The coat is from H&M. It has become a staple in my wardrobe. This second look is it's just an interesting combination. The coat is a piece that was thrifted and it's definitely not environmentally sustainable. So thank God I gave it a different home and I got it here in Canada. The dress is a piece that was also thrifted and for some reason I cannot find a label it's there's nothing anywhere to indicate where it's made etc so I'm assuming it was made and it appears to have been made by somebody local so I am so happy to find it the belt is one that I brought from home so it's a great combination of Canadian and Vincentian styling <laughs> this third piece is a piece that you should also be familiar with if you have been watching my video <laughs> so this is a piece that I absolutely love I love the high neck I love I just love the style of it and the fact that you can wear it as a top as well as a dress and it's a piece that is in my closet it it is beige so of course i'll be featuring it here but if you don't want to see this piece skip to the other pieces because there are some great pieces that are coming up but this coat of course you have seen it earlier i just realized i don't like it so much anymore because it's such a synthetic material it's all polyurethane so I'm not impressed but it goes well because it is an ultra suede that's how it is described and it fits beautifully with this dress but of course I cannot go without wearing my all-time favorite and it is my H&M coat I love this from day one and it's a little too big, but oversizes in. I got it before the trend was going, so I love it. Really, really love. I just love this coat. It's so versatile. It goes with everything. Look number four, I absolutely love as well. And oh my God, guys, that satin string that I'm just sashing away right there. <laughs> It's actually from my H&M coat and I realized how well it, it could work with this skirt combo. This is a skirt from I brought from my island. It's from the Blue Island Threads um, brand. It's a piece I brought from my country and I am pairing it with that top from Zara or Forever 21. Oh, of course, um, it's definitely not environmentally friendly. But the hair, guys, the hair. Whenever you're buying your hair, you need to make sure that it's also environmentally friendly. So always choose human hair. And of course, yeah, so this outfit I really, really love. It's a great piece to go to brunch with your girlfriends and it's absolutely stunning. I am pairing it with a piece, a duster coat from Vera Moda. Ah, I'm so disappointed when I discovered it's a hundred percent polyester but as usual I'll be wearing it two pieces so don't you worry about the environmental factor. The key is not to buy new polyester items. 
but I've added it here for a hint of color and I like the way it turns out. Sorry to interrupt guys, but just a quick note. Hi guys! If you just so happen to just click on my video, you are new, please click the red subscribe button. So here they are guys, if you click on these buttons, you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when I post new videos. And most importantly guys, it's free. Thank you so much for subscribing. Love ya. Let's get back to the video. Number five. I think number five is my favorite look because the two pieces came into my life unexpectedly. The skirt is another piece I got when I visited my country. So it it's, I love it because the fabric is of course natural fibers and so i i just love it i love the fit of it and it's not too short it's a little bit see-through but at least it has a lining piece that's something that is not as popular today in an era of fast fashion they don't seem to make stuff with linings anymore you have to buy extra fabric or an extra piece. It's something that we need to bring to the attention of producers. That is why slow fashion is such a way to go because they don't make them like they used to anymore. And okay, excuse the little bit of snugness. It's a bit too tight because I did add some extra pants. So yeah <laughs> but i'm happy about the pound so i'm fine with it but it's a great look that i absolutely love and it's a versatile look that you can go to lunch and at the same time you can lose the sweater and add something a bit more sexy if you want to put it that way so maybe something black or something with sequins and it would be great. There are great environmental stuff made from sequins. So this top, as I've mentioned before, it's a piece that was given to me by my niece. Thank you so much, Valine. I love it. It is unexpectedly sustainably made. So I love that. <laughs> Number six. It is also a great combo and here again I am pairing it with the sash from my H&M coat. The jumper, turtleneck jumper is a piece from Forever 21. It's 100% acrylic, definitely not environmentally sustainable and not an eco-friendly fabric. And over time, this is a piece that's going to start peeling. It has already started peeling. But for the beige look, let's go with it for now. And of course, let's pair it again with this ultra suede, non-enviro, non-eco-friendly coat. But looks great because it's all nude. And everybody knows, nude on nude looks so expensive and so chic and you might be wondering why i'm pairing it with that black boot just for contrast i love contrast when it comes to my pieces oh yeah this piece this is the last piece that i threw in there just for the fun of it and it's a skirt that i got again from my country definitely not environmentally sustainable either it's 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 i am sure even if the label is not there <laughs> it's polyester so i wanted to give it a new life i didn't want them to throw it out because that's what they were doing so here it is guys just for inspiration and just to encourage you to definitely look into your closet look for pieces that you already have and you can walk the trend as anybody else. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as I always say, remember to always love yourself and to accept your perfect imperfections. 
because they are what make you unique and gorgeous. Love you guys. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.